Tonight, a judge has set bond for a Pendleton woman charged with crashing into a house in Anderson County. Troopers say the driver was under the influence of alcohol. Two seniors living in that home were injured. Our Stephanie Borman tonight has details from the bond hearing. It was a lucky thing that they survived. Connie Walker and her husband Dennis spent their day wrapping a tarp around this home on Central Road. The home belongs to their close friends Billy and Christine McLaren. Troopers say on Saturday around 1156 p.m. 22 year old Rebecca Carroll crossed the center line at the intersection of Wardlaw Road and Central Road. Carol ran off the road and hit the house where the McLarens were inside sleeping. The car actually stuck into the bedroom, went up on the bed where they were sleeping. The couple, both in their 80s, was rushed to the emergency room with injuries. Walker says Billy was going to be released Sunday night, but Christine's injuries were more serious. She was moved to an actual room this afternoon because her condition didn't improve at all and she can stand. In these pictures Walker shared with 7 News, she says you can see the extent of the damage from the crash. Walker says this half of the house is unlivable. She believes other parts of the house aren't structurally sound. Troopers charged Carol with felony DUI resulting in great bodily harm. Carol's family tells 7 News she has never gotten in trouble before. At her bond hearing, she addressed the victims. So I'm very sorry. It's not like me at all, at all, and okay. I'm truly sorry, and I hope everybody ends up okay, and I will do what I can to help if I can. Stephanie Borman, 7 News. The woman's bond was set at $20,000. Her next court appearance is set for August 23rd.